Great stuff, Laurie. Hope you're still wearing those boots. We need, need that Laurie Lindsay turn of pace to get you back up to the booth. Can't wait to call this one. First time any US national team has opened up a new stadium, Carly Lloyd. Quite remarkable. On the score sheet again the other night against Jamaica. And being honored tonight for a big milestone. 300 caps for her country. She actually reached that mark in April in Stockholm. Only the third man or woman to appear 300 times for the US, joining Christine Lilly and Christy Pierce Rampold. What a career and how much more there might be to come as well. We are underway and how good is it to say that in this stadium, Q2 Stadium, 20 years in the making, Finding her sister, Samantha, trying to thread it through for Rapino, who might still get there, Megan Rapino! Holloway just winning the race. And one thing that Randy Waldrum told us was, we might be in a 5-3-2, but we're not going to sit back, and we're already seeing loads of space in that midfield. Samuels just be able to pick this ball and threads that ball through a perfectly timed run. Megan Rapino, good latch-ditch effort from Alozzi just to get a slight touch on it to hold up that ball. Otherwise, Megan Rapino wouldn't have missed a stride. A lot of worry amongst their fan base that she might be leaving as Rapino delivers. Well, it was a, a lovely piece of improvisation from Christy Mewis. Just the back heeled flick. And another good look from the U.S. Megan Rapino picking up some good spaces out wide. And it was Kristen Press that was coming in late. I thought Christy Mewis was going to see that, but instead tries to go herself, tries to flick it behind. Otherwise, Kristen Press would have been there for the easy tap in, noticing that nothing's on. And that's another thing that Blacko Ananasi has said, just the patience. Mewis! Great hit. Sam Mewis from fully 25 yards on Olaway. Had to be alert. And that's not the first time that we've seen Sam Mewis be able to strike from distance. Just gets this ball out in front of her. The patience to be able to cycle, recycle that ball. She finds herself wide open and then unleashes a shot. Wow, almost a catastrophe at the back for Nigeria. As those two experienced players I was referencing, Ebi and Oluwe got in a bit of a tangle. And they're not afraid to play on the back. It's just too casual. And you can see the pressing ability from Carly Lloyd, why she loves playing in that number nine, leading the line up top. Sauerbrunn looking at for Lloyd, who's offside. Actually, it was Christian Press. But the flag was instant and definitive. And I like the idea from Becky Sauerbrunn. And ooh, Oof. I don't know if that's offside. It's a good weighted ball. Well-timed run from Kristen Press. I think that's a wrong call in the end. Time, 8 p.m. local time, but there will be a hydration break. Coming up shortly, Rapino with the header! And heroic goalkeeping from Holloway in the eye of a storm. We just talked about the two center backs helping set play. That's another good ball over the top. U.S. is finding a lot of success with those clip balls over. Olaway with another big save. We saw her in the first game, save a penalty kick, come up big on a breakaway. Press with the step inside on the left foot, deflection and goal! But offside, it's not going to count. Flag went up immediately, crowd haven't quite realized it yet. And they will have to wait for the breakthrough goal at Q2. Well, Kristen Press just does a good job of recognizing when the pressure is going to come, uses the momentum from Nigeria to be able to just cut the ball and then get it onto her left foot and unleash that shot. It's very adept defending by Sabra. Oshrola has it back and the shot might be on here. Oh, and Naya. Is happy to see that flash wide. Wasn't by much. Tony Payne had a sight set. And this is exactly what we were talking about, Adrian. After the water breaks, the upbeat tempo that we see from Nigeria have seen in the last couple of games. Ashola stays with this one, plays a good ball across. 
Now Carly Lloyd. And press! There it is! The moment they've been waiting for. Number one at Q2. And it's number 23 who's provided it. An unerring finish from Kristen Press. It is such a good time, first time finish for Kristen Press. She looks like she's trying to get the ball over the top. And you can see there's tons of space. Carly Lloyd just gets to it first. No one marking Kristen Press. And what a dagger for Nigeria. They've done so well to stay committed defensively throughout this first half. But Kristen Press taking that first time, just curling it in to that far post. All the way he's stretched out, trying to make a play on it, just can't. The U.S. continuing to press their case with Rapino and Press! Great save! It's as good as we've seen for the U.S. in the second half. And Kristen Press must have thought she scored. And it certainly is Adrian. Megan Rapino just drifts out wide, holds her space. Is it picked up? Gets behind Alozi, and then it's the timing of the run from Kristen Press just holds it, and it's a good first time hit. But it's Oloei at the end making another big time save from Nigeria. Sonic. Oloei grateful to hold on and stay down and catch her breath. Emily Sana just getting underneath this, just trying to loft it into the path of Lindsay Horan. Morgan, a second chance to deliver, goes near post! Well, Rapino was offside. And Fushuku Oloway may have plenty of mementos to take away from tonight in the form of bruises. And Alex Morgan sees the run of Megan Rapino. No other teammates with her. All she can do is try that little tricky back heel to look to see if she can get one pass all the way of Vlako and Anoski's roster. That was a fabulous uh, pick off there by Haran. And now Williams on the move. Lynn Williams for the US. Can she finish it? Yes, she can! The perfect end to opening night in Austin. A sea of red, white, and blue. And Lynn Williams making it to goals at the tail end of the first half and at the tail end of the second half, completing the night's work. It's goal number 11 for Lynn Williams in a US shirt. It is that little dip of the shoulder right there that gets her pass all the way. She did have Alex Morgan at far post. She could have hit it first time, but then just takes that little extra touch, bypasses all the way who finds herself storming out in no man's land, and then just slots at home. A good run from Lynn Williams to get in behind. Times a run perfectly, sets herself up. And the final whistle sounds. On the first game here at Q2 Stadium, and the number of the night is two.